After deciding to move SpaceX's headquarters from Hawthorne, California to Starbase, Texas, Elon Musk proposed to transform Starbase into a city, and that decision has now become a reality. This comes as a powerful shock to California state authorities who have lost SpaceX and Elon Musk. They will certainly regret it, as what SpaceX is about to accomplish at Starbase City will leave them astonished. Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. The campus for SpaceX's Starship system, known as Starbase, can be seen for miles. Its launch site towers over the remote coastal flatlands that have long defined this southern tip of Texas. For the past decade, SpaceX has developed this area, building a spaceflight system designed to take humans to Mars and conducting eight suborbital test flights of the world's most powerful rocket. People who come here to fish in the Gulf now pass through a corridor of rapid construction, heavy machinery, and enormous propellant and water tanks. And soon this area, known as Starbase, will be the newest city in Texas. On Saturday, voters supported a move to incorporate as a Type C municipality and elect a small city government with a mayor and two city commissioners, according to unofficial election results from Cameron County. The Starbase area has 283 registered voters, and the vast majority are SpaceX employees. Voters decided overwhelmingly to incorporate. Nearly every vote cast was in favor of it, the unofficial results showed. The Cameron County Commissioner's Court will need to certify the results, and the change will go into effect once the county judge enters an order declaring the city incorporated. Starbase, Texas is now a real city, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said in a post on X Saturday night. To be honest, it didn't come as a huge surprise when SpaceX petitioned last year to turn Starbase into a city. Musk publicly teased the idea four years ago and made pleas for engineers, technicians, and builders to move to the area. He's also announced plans to transfer the SpaceX headquarters from California to the Starbase location. SpaceX has purchased large swaths of land here and employs more than 3,000 people. The vote is welcome news for Musk, who's had a rough patch lately between a public backlash to his doge cuts and Tesla's plunging profits. Spreading less than 1.5 square miles, the new boundaries will include the SpaceX facilities and a few newly built neighborhoods around them. Of the 247 residential lots in the proposed city lines, only 10 are not owned by SpaceX or its employees, according to county records. Most of the residents are newly registered to vote in Cameron County. Nearly 95% of them have registered here since 2021. Supporters say Starbase will be less of a burden on Cameron County if it can manage some of its own resources, like security and infrastructure. With more autonomy, they say, it can develop in a way that makes it more convenient for employees. I think more people will want to live here because why wouldn't you want to live next to the most amazing thing that's happening on Earth, said Anthony Gomez, one of the few non-SpaceX employees who owns property here and runs a launch viewing business where visitors sign a safety waiver. The transformation of Starbase into a city marks a new level of ambition for SpaceX. This move will give the company broader and more efficient control over its operational area. It also means that Starship tests and launches could proceed more smoothly. In fact, SpaceX is in the process of increasing its annual launch frequency from 5 to 25, though the ability to launch frequently and consistently still depends on approval from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. If anyone is concerned about conflicts between SpaceX and environmental groups, that is certainly something that will happen. SpaceX's regular operations continue to be a primary focus of environmental agencies. Critics argue that SpaceX's rocket launches and test activities negatively impact local wildlife, especially in ecologically sensitive areas around the Boca Chica launch site. Environmentalists have pointed out increased light pollution from starbase operations, which disrupts nocturnal species, and the accumulation of debris from rocket launches, posing risks to both terrestrial and marine ecosystems. These concerns have fueled ongoing debates about balancing technological progress with environmental stewardship, with advocacy groups calling for stricter oversight of SpaceX's activities. In 2024, SpaceX faced regulatory repercussions when the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, TCEQ, imposed fines totaling nearly $150,000, 
approximately 113,000 pounds, for violations related to wastewater discharge. The penalties stemmed from non-compliance with environmental regulations, specifically improper handling of industrial wastewater at the Starbase facility. SpaceX responded by characterizing the fines as the result of administrative disagreements over documentation, emphasizing that the company remains committed to adhering to environmental laws. The company has since outlined efforts to enhance its environmental compliance protocols, including investing in advanced wastewater treatment systems and conducting regular audits to prevent future violations. However, once Starbase becomes an official city, Regulatory control over SpaceX's operational area will limit the involvement of outside organizations and make it easier for SpaceX to carry out frequent Starship launches. Of course, the company continues to publicly share all documentation and environmental protection measures related to the coastal area, aiming to reassure nature and environmental advocates about the region's safety. Comment Starbase City to show your support for SpaceX's bold future growth. At this point, it becomes clear that Elon Musk didn't become one of the world's most successful billionaires by accident. He has always demonstrated an extraordinary long-term vision. Recognizing Texas's potential, Musk gradually relocated the headquarters of his companies from California to Texas. The headquarters of X Corp and The Boring Company are now located in Bastrop, a small town just outside Austin, Texas's bustling capital. Bastrop, about a 5.5-hour drive north of SpaceX's Starbase in South Texas, serves as a hub for these ventures. Rather than subjecting SpaceX to bureaucratic red tape and stifling its growth, as seen in California's refusal to increase SpaceX's launch quota due to environmental concerns and political tensions with Musk, Texas has welcomed SpaceX with incentives that promote its expansion. The Texas government has provided around $20 million in state and local incentives, including a $15.3 million grant from the Texas Semiconductor Innovation Fund in 2025 to expand SpaceX's Bastrop facility, creating over 400 jobs and generating $280 million in investment. In addition, a $7.5 million grant from the Texas Space Commission in 2025 supported a new vertically integrated facility. Cameron County offered $2 million in tax breaks over 10 years, and the Brownsville Economic Development Council provided $3 million in incentives. Previously, the state committed $15 million to expand utilities and infrastructure to the Boca Chica site, improving access to SpaceX's Starbase facility. House Bill 3447, passed in 2023, established the Texas Space Commission and the Texas Aerospace Research and Economic Development Federation to promote innovation in the space industry, including funding a Texas AH&M research facility at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Texas also approved the abandonment of portions of four roads in Boca Chica in 2022, ensuring SpaceX could access contiguous land while preserving public access elsewhere. The state also formalized a 2013 agreement allowing county officials to close Boca Chica Beach for launches, balancing SpaceX's operational needs with public access rights. Despite these benefits, the proposal to turn Starbase into a city remains a controversial issue among high-ranking Texas officials and local residents. Incorporating marks another step toward making this part of the Rio Grande Valley the next frontier in spaceflight, but some critics fear Musk's company is becoming too powerful. On top of existing environmental concerns about disruptive sonic booms and debris, they worry that by becoming its own city, SpaceX will have more autonomy to skirt regulations and exert greater control over access to the beloved Boca Chica Beach. The highest ranking official in Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. opposed the state bill that would allow Starbase to control closures in the area. Residents like Madrino say they understand what SpaceX is trying to do, but they hope it doesn't limit their own freedoms. Madrino, 65, represents the stark juxtaposition between tradition and innovation here in this remote part of South Texas. He calls himself old school and uses a flip phone, laughing at the irony of his low-tech technology while he takes on a global behemoth like SpaceX. Medrano took on a drive through the narrow access point to the beach that's now become a construction zone. He then drove another three miles on sand to reach the U.S.-Mexico border, where the Rio Grande meets the Gulf. 
He's spent much of his life fishing here with his friends and family, a tradition he doesn't want to see come to an end. Just because SpaceX is in, that doesn't mean that Boca Chica Beach is out, he said. Cameron County already closes the highway leading to the beach on launch days, and it issues road delays on non-launch days when SpaceX runs tests or transports equipment. Residents can sign up for texts from the county to learn when the road is closed or delayed. Access to Gulf Coast beaches is a constitutional right in Texas. In a brazen effort to support SpaceX, lawmakers in the Texas state legislature tried to change that this spring, proposing a bill that gives the future mayor of Starbase, instead of the county, authority to control access to the beach on weekdays. Trevino, the county judge, has been actively lobbying against the effort, and while it passed in the state Senate last month, it failed to advance this week from a House committee. Trevino called it a pleasant surprise that the measure died, but he worries it could come up again. Trevino recognizes that he and others will have disagreements with SpaceX, but he ultimately views the company's growing presence as a step forward for his county and its economy. Cape Canaveral was a sleepy little community back in the early 60s when it was selected to be the launching site for the Apollo missions, he said. We hope this continues to be a win-win. The number of jobs, the pay, the attention, the development, the energy, the excitement has been a net positive. It's a great company, but are they respecting the public interest? Jared Hakama, the city manager of nearby Port Isabel and the head of the Democratic Party in Cameron County, said he also appreciates the economic boon from SpaceX, but he suspects the attempt to turn Starbase into a city is also a ploy to avoid certain regulations, given Musk's history as a critic of government oversight. The question always comes back to, are you using public power to benefit a private interest, said Jared Hakama, the city manager of nearby Port Isabel and chair of the Cameron County Democratic Party. Nobody is against progress, he added, it's a great company, great innovation. There's a lot of good people working there. They do a good job. But are they respecting the public interest in everything they do? For Anthony Gomez, the non-SpaceX employee who has property in the proposed city, the move is another exciting step for the trajectory of SpaceX. He believes this will help ease the burden on the county and cast his ballot during early voting. They're moving at an incredible pace, more so than Cameron County can keep up with said Gomez, who is originally from Miami. Gomez runs Rocket Ranch, a glamping spot along the Rio Grande that hosts SpaceX enthusiasts. Farther down the river, in the proposed city grounds, Gomez has a viewing outpost where for $150 a piece, up to 300 people can watch Starship launches from only 3.7 miles away. He's closely tied to the SpaceX community and feels the company is misunderstood and overshadowed by politics. You're looking at the apex of all of human technology and all the achievements. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.